A 72-year-old male with BPH, hypertension, moderate COPD, and severe osteoarthritis is scheduled for a TERP. Is neuraxial anesthesia safer than general anesthesia for a TERP? Not necessarily. The risk of perioperative morbidity and mortality are the same with either technique. What are the advantages of a neuraxial technique? Early detection of procedure-specific complications such as TERP syndrome and bladder perforation are advantages. Also, there will be immediate postoperative analgesia, possibly reducing the incidence of postoperative nausea, vomiting, and cost of care. What is the spinal level required for surgical anesthesia? The goal level is T10. This level provides adequate anesthesia with the retained ability to detect bladder perforation through diaphragmatic irritation, causing referred shoulder or abdominal pain. If you suspect bladder perforation, how can you confirm? I would ask the surgeon if there is a positive irrigation balance, indicating less solution returned than instilled. You placed a spinal and one hour into the procedure, the patient becomes more and more agitated. What are your concerns? There are many possibilities. I would rule out bladder perforation and TERP syndrome. I would assess his oxygenation, ventilation, EKG, and consider checking a blood glucose if he is diabetic. It is unlikely but possible that a functional spinal would no longer be adequate. If this is the case, or he is unable to tolerate the positioning, I would consider converting to a general anesthetic. What is TERP syndrome? Absorption of irrigation fluid by prostatic venous plexus, resulting in circulatory overload. It is initially manifested by nausea, headache, or dizziness. It can then progress to shortness of breath, hypertension, bradycardia, confusion, and seizure. Can distilled water be used for irrigation? Distilled water is dangerous, as its absorption could lead to an acute decrease in serum sodium and osmolality, causing lysis of red blood cells and shock. It can also disperse the effects of electrocautery. What kind of fluid could be used for irrigation? Ideally, an isotonic and electrically inert solution would be used. 5% glucose can be used. With bipolar cautery, normal saline can be used. Glycine is generally avoided due to higher incidence of TERP syndrome. The patient desaturates to 87% and becomes short of breath. What would you do? I would ask the surgeon to pause, stop irrigation, and limit IV fluids. I would then administer 100% FiO2, put the patient's head up, check labs, and diurese with furosemide. If possible, the procedure should be aborted at this point. The serum sodium is 120 mL equivalents per liter. How would you treat it? Given his pulmonary symptoms in the setting of hyponatremia, he likely has hypervolemic hyponatremia. I would treat with fluid restriction and loop diuretics, checking sodium level frequently. Since the change occurred over a short period of time, the sodium could be corrected relatively quickly without causing central pontine myelinolysis. I would aim to correct to 130 within a few hours if he is exhibiting neurologic symptoms.